Hello everybody, in this video I'll talk about Blue Scarcity. So let's start with what is Blue Scarcity and why I'm talking about it. It is a device, uh, I'm soldering it together, it is freely available. From GitHub you can download the source code for that as well as all the hardware details. And with this device it is possible to replace old SCSI hard drives. Why is it necessary? Simply because those drives are aging, dying and it is hard to find a replacement. Those HDDs were used in Apple, so old Apple computers. Right now I'm working on an Apple Power Mac and as usual it had the same issues as others. So the battery was flat and at the same time the hard drive just died. So what is the process to build a Blue SCSI? The first step is to have the PCBs. I've ordered it in the past, so I already built five of them. And right now I'm working on the second batch. The next step is order spare parts. To be honest, this is very easy. You can order everything, but you need to take care of the SD card part because this is a bit tricky. So I have different types at home. So I'm working from spare parts I already have in stock. So none of them in the, in the drawer are matching this particular PCB, but I can work with them. If you already soldered it, you are over the, the tricky part because from this point, you just need to solder a few hundred of additional pins. Start with the resistors and then the diodes and the jumpers, the connector and the controller itself. And this is where I can explain where the blue SCSI name is coming. Somebody started to call this microcontroller as blue pill. This is where the blue SCSI name is coming. So blue as blue pill and SCSI as the drive it is simulating. As soon as the soldering is done, the next major step is to install the firmware. There are multiple ways. I'm using the complicated way, so I'm building it from the source code. But what I would recommend is just to use this repository with the already compiled uh, firmware. You just need to upload with the batch file from Windows or there is a shell script for Macintosh. So this is really easy to install. There is only one thing. You need an ST link, plug it into the USB and the jumper cables connected to the blue pill and then I'm able to upload the firmware. As soon as the firmware is uploaded, I can check the functionality. First of all, I started just with a single USB cable and check out if it is blinking. Without SD card, it should blink five times. It is a kind of error code, so it cannot find a proper SD card. So it is blinking five times, wait a little bit and then blink again and again and again. So it is indicating at least the controller and the firmware is ready to go. The next step still connected via the USB cable is to plug in an SD card, push the reset button and let's see if it is loading up. It shouldn't blink. It is that simple. If it is still blinking, there is something wrong. Typically, if it blinked five times, then it is not a firmware issue. Right now I made a mistake, so I had to resolder one of the SD cards. But it's normal, so this is why I'm, I'm testing before using it with the computer. And the last step is to test it with the Power Mac. As you can see, it is booting, so it is blinking like hell and it is loading the system. So right now I'm using system 8.1 and I run few tests. But before that, let me show you, I printed few things. If you remember my previous video with the KLP1 3D printer, then I used this one to print these holders for the blue SCSI. So that way I can mount it easily. And let me show you how the operating system is booting. And let me start a program from it. So you will see what I'm starting. And one more thing, which is also worth to mention with the new firmware, I just realized that it is possible to load CDs, so it is able to handle ISO or TOAST uh, files. So there is no need to unpack or mount via software. That's really a cool feature. In the future, I'll make a video about how to prepare the SD card because it is not so complicated. The problem is how to build the proper image with all the software and which system version for which particular Apple to use. So somewhere in January, I'll have a video about that. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed and wish you a Merry Christmas. Goodbye.